So this is the indoor market in Podgorica, Montenegro. Okay. Hello. Some nice things here. I'm not sure what he's saying. If he's objecting to the filming, I'm out of earshot now anyway. So. Smells great. I think it's practically more of the same over here. But one thing I do need is some paprika. Always buy a nice big bag of paprika. Hopefully not the manufactured mass produced type, but you know, maybe from a bag from a farm or something like that. So we'll see what they've got. Looks like I'm headed in the right direction anyway. So I just came across this site by accident. Somebody's been smoking in here. So all types of dried herbs. <coughs> Huge watermelons. I'm looking for some paprika. Do we have some paprika here? I just bought myself some nice red paprika for one euro. A little bit repetitive in the ingredient list here, but I just love vegetables, especially of this quality. You know, you walk past the garlic, you can smell garlic. You walk past the cabbage, you can smell cabbage. How things should be. A lot less un un unadulterated as, um, you know, highly sophisticated, so-called sophisticated countries, if you know what I mean. Some of the food we're eating in Britain is garbage. Every time I go somewhere like a, a little bit more organic, a little bit more less um, mechanicalized. Wow. Because the British market, they love every carrot has to be the same size, it has to be the same weight, it has to, it's a load of bullshit. I don't usually swear on the channel, but um, you know, you get everything's a different size here, how it should be. I think we're so far um, from reality when it comes to food in the UK these days. Well, maybe over the last 20 years, it's annoying me sometimes, you know. You go to these places and everybody looks healthier and this is the reason why whoops pretty much more of the same <laughs> 